A flight attendant and her boyfriend must steal some diamonds to pay off an old debt, but their plan is thrown into chaos when a gang of hijackers also boards the plane. Here, in Movies You Must See, we summarize Flight of Thieves. A man badly beaten in the face is being questioned by officers at an airport because they believe he is a suspect. But what actually happened? Eight months earlier, the same man, named Anki, met a female cabin crew member on a flight and fell in love with her. That same day, Anki tried to ask her out, but the girl, named Nia, refused. Anki didn't give up and, using her abilities, he followed her everywhere so that they would meet by chance. Days passed and persistence won. After several dates, Nia ended up falling for Anki. It didn't take long for the flight crew member to become pregnant. Anki, finding out about her, doesn't seem to take it well, but after thinking about it, he is happy with the news and even proposes to his girlfriend. Later, when they were celebrating this great moment, Anki receives a mysterious call from some guys who are waiting for him outside the place and ask him to come out. Nia seems worried, but Anki mentions that everyone is fine and there are just a few friends to say hi. As they leave, the guys start treating Anki badly. Her partner begins to worry more and when he returns to her, he asks her to explain. Anki tells him that two years ago, when he set up his diamond insurance company, one of his employees lost 200 million worth of diamonds and now they are charging him for it. He doesn't have that amount, so they are asking him to do a robbery for them so he can pay them what he owes them. Anki doesn't know what to do. Nea is very worried, especially since she is now expecting a child. She doesn't like these issues and more because she has a trauma with her father because he was killed in front of her because he was laundering money for some criminals. But this didn't matter at all because they both decide to carry out the robbery and steal the diamonds. This precious mineral belongs to the Minister of the Interior, it will be transported in a plane as contraband and will be carried by an unknown courier. On the day of the operation, Anki and Nea are already in full flight, where the diamonds will be taken. But something comes up at the moment, because the man they would have to identify as the mystery courier has not boarded the plane. This is because, at the last moment, they changed the person who would transport the diamonds. The couple sets out to look for the guy inside the flight and Anki reveals that they will notice the man because he won't ask for anything to eat, since the guy brings his own food. Hey found out who that person is and they plan for the girl to lock the man in the bathroom for two minutes so that Angie can check his bag. When the guy was about to go to the bathroom, some hooded guys come out pointing their weapons and take from they hold all the passengers hostage. The flight is now hijacked and the first thing these guys do is tie the flight officer so he doesn't mean to do anything. They take their cell phones and take all the first class passengers to the back seats. The hijackers instruct the pilot to inform their government that they want a Dilmer released or else they will kill everyone one by one and also have the plane change destination and head to Hulu. He is worried because he needs to steal the diamonds. NEA tries to persuade the hijackers to distribute water to the passengers in order to search for the briefcase with the diamonds, but the hijackers do not allow it. When NEA hears the cry of a newborn, we learn that the girl had lost her baby weeks before. All this because the guys who were threatening Angie came looking for him again and he had a confrontation with them. NEA, in her attempt to help her partner, got hurt because one of these guys hit her in the belly and she suffered a terrible loss. Posing as if she has asthma, she makes them let him go get her supposed inhaler from her suitcase, but in reality she went looking for the diamonds. Before he can find them, the kidnapper realizes that Anki is actually lying and gives him a bad beating with a broken nose. Anki is brought back, but first he persuades the kidnapper to go to the bathroom because he is bleeding a lot. She also allows Anki to go to the bathroom and there she asks her partner to make an excuse and go for the diamonds, but Nia doesn't want to because she thinks it's too risky. This bothers Anki a lot and she, taking her arm, tells her that what she is asking for is not an option, but an order. Anki realizes her reaction and apologizes to her partner, but still, Nia doesn't want to do what she asks. The minister sends his men to retrieve his diamonds. These appear before the commissary and offer to help escort the passengers. The Kalu Airport Commissioner is informed that the plane is about to land. Meanwhile, Anki takes advantage of the kidnapper's carelessness to search for the briefcase. He manages to find the diamonds and takes the opportunity to exchange them for some fake diamonds. While he was hiding, what he had stolen is seen by one of the kidnappers with whom he begins to fight. Anki is surrounded by all the kidnappers and is taken to one of the bathrooms. 
As the plane lands, the flight officer, who had been tied up, manages to free himself and, using the hijacker's pistol, fires several shots. This alerts the passengers that the hijackers are already dead and that there is nothing to. While inspecting the place, the officer finds Anki in the bathroom with a bomb. Immediately, the officer alerts the passengers, who rush to get off the plane. With everyone evacuated, NEA is also forced to get off the plane. Anki is surrounded for help in defusing the bomb on his body. The officers, doing their job, are surprised that it was a fake bomb. Anki, after being released, goes in search of the diamond and takes it with him in a very disoriented bag. He is greeted by NEA, who tries to help him. Anki, upon receiving the call from her accomplice, with whom he would share the diamonds, tells NEA that he will close the deal and then come back for her. Once inside the terminal, he meets with her accomplice and gives her the diamonds. He sends them to be checked by a specialist. Meanwhile, the policeman, after checking the entire plane, inform the commissioner that there is no body of the dead hijackers. The commissioner immediately orders that the terminal be closed so that no one leaves and asks for the flight officer to appear. The pilot gives the name of the officer whom they begin to search for desperately, but he does not listen to them since he is fast asleep. After being woken up, the officer is questioned, but mentions that he was asleep after drinking juice on the plane. There, the commissioner realizes that the officer was impersonated and that the kidnappers never died because they were among the passengers. Meanwhile, Anki is scolded by his accomplice as the diamonds are fake. This very angry asks him to find the real diamonds and deliver them as soon as possible. Anki, very puzzled, cannot believe that the diamonds are fake. He tries to comfort me, but he is very furious and shows his true intentions, confessing that he only won her over to help him steal the diamonds. After being left alone in the bathroom after being beaten by Anki, she remembers the moment when she was beaten and lost her baby. The call he had at that time with her cousin was recorded and there he heard Anki give orders to the guy who hit her. Very disconcerted, she went after her boyfriend and discovered what her true intentions were, since he planned everything to win her over and get her help to steal the diamonds. The guys who were constantly looking for him and ended up killing her baby are men who work for her boyfriend. Knowing all this broke her down, but at the same time it made her want to take revenge on her. Maya hired her brother and some guys to steal the diamonds. She also arranged the hijacking in every detail, without Anki realizing it. Returning to the present, the commissioner begins to question the passengers. Everyone points to this interrogated behind as a suspect, who evades all responsibility and denies his participation in the kidnapping. The minister is informed that the diamonds are fake. For his part, the commissioner, after hearing various testimonies, deduces that the stewardess NEA was the one who ran into the officer, so he immediately sends for her. Maya, before turning herself in, calls the minister to mention that the theft of the diamonds will be revealed, arguing that it is something that does not suit him. This causes the minister to stop the interrogations and all the passengers are released, even NEA, who is narrowly discovered. NEA is taken away, whom she asks to hand over the diamonds. She denies that she stole from him and plays the victim. While the two were arguing, the minister's men take Anki away. Back home, NEA and her accomplices are happy because everything went as planned. They took care of every detail to the millimeter. Even the weapons they used were fake. The theft was part of her plan to get back at Anki for everything she did to him. After the days, they visit me in the hospital after having accused him with the minister. She blames him for what she did to him and makes it clear that she is the one who won. Post-credit scenes and some time later we see that Anki is recovering and inside an airport, he makes a call to NEA, to whom she asks if she already forgot about him, and she immediately hangs up the phone. And so ends this. What did you think of this new tape? If you liked this video, don't forget to leave your beautiful like, as well as subscribe to the channel.